Yo, what is up guys? Johnny Geiger here. My cat too. You're on YouTube. You like that? Today I made a mistake. I watched Rodney Moon's Almost Round 3 part once again. Now I'm pumped to go skate. But it's raining outside and the skate parks are still closed anyway. At least I'm finding some time to go over my footage. And this leads us to a new introduction of series on this channel. In these episodes we're not gonna try to recreate Mullen's tricks. We're gonna try to develop them. Yeah. How to make the most difficult tag tricks even more difficult? That is the question. Let's try to provide an answer. So we have this clip from almost round three. Accurate name of the trick would be pop shove it under double. I messed it up. Accurate name of the trick would be pop shove it under burial double flip. So yeah, that's a good looking trick. It's a very creative way to do a 360 double flip. And to be honest, I don't see any reason why we should not add an additional out of it. Like make three out of two. But first of all, let's have a look at a good old many session I did in December last year. Too many pads are more fun than one. That was a good session, a lot of fun. Now, pop shove it under varial triple flip. If you've been watching this channel, you know I'm the guy that builds up a trick step by step. And that's what I did too to learn that trick. So let's hop in that time machine, go back when skate parks were still open, when borders were still open, like this was filmed in Austria. And let's see how we approach to that trick. Of course, the first step is to do the regular version, a single on the flip. And I'll tell you guys, it's hard to spot a difference between a tray flip and a single tray shove on the flip. Depends on the angle though, but we're gonna do that trick first. I learned this trick about 13 years ago, no joke, and it's giving me a hard time right now. Okay, I can work with that. By now you probably understand what I meant. When I said this looks like a trip, because it was not. This flag round here is a little different from a local. But I think the double version is doable on that one. We're not gonna do it on a kicker. We're not gonna need that for the double version. Uh, maybe for the triple then. But first let's see how well or not well we can do the double version today. That's good enough for me. That felt good. 
Now we're finally coming to the part where we actually try to develop a trick from Mo. So that means we're gonna add something which is gonna do an additional flip. I don't know where or how, maybe on flat, maybe today, maybe there is not a suiting obstacle at this park for that maneuver. Let's give it a few goes on flat and on that A-frame. Let's see how it goes. Let's give it a few tries. It is scary to commit to that on that A-frame bank going down, but maybe it's gonna work out, who knows. It's not gonna work out. I don't feel comfortable doing this at all. We're gonna do some additional tricks and go back to that trick tomorrow at my local when it's hopefully not that busy. What a good feeling trick. By the way, like these kind of underflips is probably the easiest versions to learn. So if you ever want to learn those kind of underflips, that's a good way to start. Just putting this out there. Up to you, what are you gonna do with this information? I was also hyped on the very double heel flip, even though I could not do the under triple flip on that day. What do we learn from this? Some tricks do not work on some days and on some obstacles. Like sometimes it just needs the perfect obstacle. So as I said, I continued the chase of that trick the day right next. Different day, back to this place. It is kind of cold, but not as busy as last time. So we're gonna take this opportunity. We got my skateboard at home. Now I got this Primus light deck, but I think it's doable on this one too. Let's do it. This is how to do the triple version of 
that trick. I admit it was not the cleanest. Soon after filming this, the skate parks shut down and I never got the chance to redo a clean version. Maybe one day. I hope you guys feel not let down by that small tic tac. So this type of video allows us creative freedom. For instance, we could try new Casper slides, new Primo slides, new Dark slides, whatever will come up to my mind or whatever you will suggest in the comment section. I hope you guys enjoyed this format. Let me know how you feel about it in the comment section as well. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you want to support me, you can do this on Patreon. And if you want to buy one of my promos, link in the description of this video. Can't wait till I can skate a skate park again. But for now, it's just important to stay healthy. I appreciate you for staying home, doing a great job. There's also some new trick tips on this channel. If you can skate in front of your house, a flat ground can work on these tricks if you want to. Okay, now that was it. Bye-bye.